All right, Autumn, we'll check back in. Well, developing tonight, Amherst police consider a fire at a health clinic to be an arson. The fire started at a facility that offers pregnant women alternatives to abortions. As senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us tonight, the company's CEO says this is just a part of a coordinated attack against pro-life supporters. This is the face of abortion, ladies and gentlemen. This is the face of abortion. It was just after 3 a.m. Tuesday when police and fire were called here to Compass Care Pregnancy Services in Amherst. Compass Care CEO Jim Harden held a news conference saying this was no accident. He says windows in the reception room and nurse's office were broken and fires were set inside, causing extensive damage. The smoke damage was, was extensive throughout, as well as a lot, a lot of fire damage. We're pretty sure all the equipment's uh, been destroyed. We're not sure. We haven't been able to get in and turn it on. All of our power's out. Hardin says he believes a radical pro-abortion group targeted the offices on Eggert Road. Compass Care is a pro-life medical service which provides alternatives to abortion. Hardin says the graffiti written on the backside of the office Jane was here is in reference to an extreme abortion group called Jane Revenge. So Jane's Revenge is this group that's attempting uh, to, to, to strike fear into the hearts of pro-life service organizations to keep them uh, from providing care. Hardin says a similar clinic was targeted in Madison, Wisconsin last month with Jane's Revenge claiming responsibility and threatening more sites. We reported to the FBI two weeks ago um, and uh, they are in the process of investigating. They were here this morning as well. I reached out to the local FBI office. A spokesperson tells me they are denying comment at this time. Amherst police tell 7 News the fire appears suspicious in nature, but they can't confirm if the extremist group is responsible. Do you have any surveillance out here? Do we do have surveillance, yes. We have cameras and we're, uh, the, the investigation is ongoing. We're we, we, we have all that data and we're going to be uh, looking it over to see exactly uh, if we can find out who exactly did this work. Two firefighters were treated for minor injuries. Amherst Town Supervisor Brian Culpa issued a statement in response to the fire saying he is disgusted that lives were put at risk and that there is no place in Amherst for such attacks. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Amherst.